Hi, I'm Jody Reed with InsideBaseball.com here with Henry and we're going to go over our uh, double play feeds from the shortstop position. Now there's a couple different techniques here that we're going to expose to you and there's also some things that we're going to show you that we want to try to avoid. So the first technique is a ground ball that's either at us or towards second base and we have our momentum going that way and what we're basically going to do is and always remember the mentality of the double play is make sure of one so the first thing we have to do is field the baseball get it in our glove again getting one with a bonus is our mentality so we have to get the ball in our glove then it's time to feed our second baseman at second so what we're going to do with our momentum going towards second base the first type of feed is a simple underhanded feed so we're going to come in here what we would do is we'd field the ball and then we'd keep our momentum going and feed our second baseman. Now, notice one thing, okay, that happened there. Notice when I came in here and I field the ball. Then I get the ball out, but notice how I take my glove and I get it away from the baseball, giving him a, a clear line of vision. One of the things we want to try to avoid is keeping our hand down here and throwing everything at him. Remember, He's trying to pick up the baseball. And the more things I have uh, down in that area, the more confusing it is. So once we field the ball, we come in here, try to get our glove out of the way so the only thing he sees is the ball coming at him. So that's the, the uh, feed when our, our momentum's going towards second base. It's simply field it, get the glove out of the way, and it's a, a firm underhand feed. The next technique is we, we don't have the opportunity to get our momentum going. Okay, you know those types of balls. They're either at us or a little bit away from us. And what we have to do now is maintain a strong base, balance, and then allow for a, what I call a stroke throw. So what happens here, Henry, is we're gonna come up to the ball. And it's important that we align our feet and I'm gonna turn sideways so you see the feet a little bit. When I come up to the ball and I know that I'm going towards second base, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my right foot slide up just a little bit. Whereas normally, if I were to field the ball, I would try to achieve balance with my feet, squared. What I'm gonna do here, Henry, is I'm gonna allow for this right foot to come just a little bit forward. Notice how that right foot comes a little bit forward because I know that I'm gonna open up and do a little stroke throw over to second base. So we're gonna let that foot slide a little bit as we come up. Okay, we're gonna let that foot slide a little bit so we come up and all of a sudden I'm just gonna rotate on my, on my feet and there's the throw. Uh, and one of the things that we wanna to try to avoid is with this throw, we wanna stay down here as, as opposed to coming up top. Remember, anytime during these double plays, if our arm gets elevated, chances are the ball's gonna go down. If arm goes up, ball goes down, and we get this spiking action. So we wanna, we wanna try to achieve a stroke throw. And it's almost a little three quarter, three quarter in, right at the shoulder, stroke throw. We're not changing our elevation. Really easy for our partner to see. Now, what we wanna try to avoid here, and this is a very common mistake, Tell me if you haven't seen guys do this. They come over and what happens is they field the ball and then all of a sudden they want to start doing this negative movement. Huh? You've seen it all the time. That's one of the things we want to try to avoid because we lose our balance. It takes a lot of time. Watch, if I come in and I do this, well that's much more efficient than coming in, fielding the ball, raising up and we want to try to stay quick, efficient, and make it easy on our partners. So try to avoid that negative push to supply power. That's why we use the balance and the spacing with our feet. And then the last one is actually, actually we might have to, if we have to go into the hole, we may have to come over here and use the backhand and then keep moving. But that's because the distance of the ball forced us to do that but remember we're always in balance we're always in control because our main thought 
is get one. So Henry, are you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna show us? Yep. Okay, let's see what we got. What we'll do is we'll give him some where his momentum's going towards, first, uh, towards second base and he's gonna do the little flip feed. Let's see how it looks, Henry. There you go, outstanding. That's exactly what it should look like. Now we're gonna roll some over here and Henry is not gonna be able to flip it so he's gonna keep his feet spaced apart and make that little balanced throw. Let's see what we got, Henry. Come over here. Very nice, very nice, outstanding. And then finally, this is the last one. We're gonna roll it over here. We're not going to be able to get there and get balanced. We're gonna be on the run, probably gonna backhand this ball and then make a nice little turn, stroke throw. If you're ready, let's see if you got this one, Henry. Here we go. Outstanding. Very nice, Henry. Thank you. Those are the three basic double play feeds for the shortstop. Work them, but always remember, it's not a double play, it's one with a bonus.